Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Editor's Essentials. This series is sponsored by Editor's Keys, and I'm Premier Gal, and I'm gonna be leading this series and teaching you about the best video editing hardware, as well as some editing tips and tricks to help speed up your workflow. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the best drives for video editing. So there are two types of drives. There's a hard drive and a solid state drive. But what is the difference between these two and why would you buy a SSD instead of a HDD or vice versa? So why are solid state drives faster? Well, solid state drives store data on microchips while hard drives store data on a rotating platter and they use magnetism to read and write data. So every time you request to store or process data on a hard drive, it'll spin it to read it. And a solid state drive is simply opening up a file instantly because it has its own processor like a computer and it uses flash-based memory to process data. And today, most laptops and computers come with solid state drives for internal storage, but external solid state drives are becoming more and more popular. You may be asking, well, Premier Gal, why would I even want to buy a hard drive if solid state drives are so much faster? Well, right now, solid state drives are more expensive than hard drives, and they are currently available in much smaller storage sizes. So for example, it's rare to find a solid state drive, in the consumer market at least, that's higher than two terabytes. So if you need more than two terabytes of storage, which if you edit a lot of video, you will need eventually, you may need to stick with hard drives, but you can always purchase multiple solid state drives to get more storage and it will just cost more. As for cost, a solid state drive can cost between 50 cents to $1.50 per gigabyte and hard drives cost around 5 cents to 10 cents per gigabyte. So to give you perspective, the cheapest one terabyte solid state drive I could find on the market runs for about $350 for one terabyte and the cheapest hard drive that's also one terabyte runs for $50. So it's about $300 more for a solid state drive. So my recommendation would be to buy a larger hard drive, like a 20 terabyte hard drive that can be like your archive and your backup. And then you can buy a smaller external solid state drive to store all of your local and current projects from and eventually move them over. As a video editor who edits tons of videos, video editing can take a lot of time. So spending a little extra more money on solid state drives can make a huge difference. So I would definitely recommend working locally off of solid state drives for video editing. Of course, you're probably gonna have a few hard drives and it's always good to have some spares that you can back up your files to, but definitely work from solid state drives. All right, so that's all for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, as well as that notification bell, so you're notified when we publish new videos on this channel. And that's all for this episode. For the next episode, we're going to be talking about best media management practices to speed up your video editing workflow. That was a mouthful, but I promise you it's gonna be simple. See you guys next time. Bye.